Will you commit today that any replacement plan for the Affordable Care Act will not in any way contribute to our deficit or our debt? I commit to working with you to make certain that that happens. Will you commit, as a member of the Tea Party, that no replacement for this dreadful Obamacare that allegedly created this deficit in debt will add to the deficit in debt? Will you commit to well, that? Can't you tell the Tea Party you're not going to increase the deficit by repealing the Affordable Care Act? There are a lot of contributions to the debt and to really? the deficit, well, the, as, the, as, as the, you know, Senator. Okay, that went well. Uh, Senator Michael Bennett, Colorado, Democrat, going off on uh, Donald Trump's choice for Health and Human Services Secretary, namely on the debt uh, and how the, uh, as Republicans, some in charge, how that added to it. Uh, but what was remarkable here in this back and forth is that a party that by and large had ignored the doubling of the debt under this Democratic president and their role in it is suddenly very much concerned about these issues. But again, it's just an observation. Catalina founding publisher, uh, Kathy Abreu. We've got The Hills, Judy Kurtz, and Sabina Schaefer from the Independent Women's Forum. Sabrina, what did you make of, of this newfound zeal to get on top of the debt? Well, look, I think it's, these are actually all really good questions, Neil, and I'm, I have no problem at all with Republicans and Democrats really going after all of these um, individuals who are up for hearings, not because they, they should be nasty, but because these are really important jobs that have the ability to impact lives and the future of the country and our economy. I mean, we should take them seriously. I mean, there are a lot of questions to ask. The, the reality is on the, on the debt, that the debt did increase by $9 trillion under President Obama. Of course, he can only take part of the blame because really it's Congress who controls all You're of this. right about that. But my, I guess, Judy, all I'm saying is, um, you know, it, it, I, I guess it goes to when, when leaks are a bad idea, uh, it, it, not, not so much if you're pardoning someone or commuting their prison sentence, uh, it, but on the debt, uh, it, that was never a really big worry. Deficit spending was never a really big worry, and now it's a big worry. And I understand both parties, to Serena's point, play this game. But it's getting to be a little old, isn't it? Well, you know, when it comes down to it, Neil, both Democrats and Republicans are guilty of this. They go on and on about the debt and the deficit, and then both of them don't do, end up doing that much about it. So we're engaged in this kind of kabuki dance right. with the two parties where they cry foul on the other party, and then they're guilty of doing the same exact thing. You know, uh, Kevin, one thing that didn't come through in that line of question, on the debt, which I appreciate where the senator was going, was Republicans bemoan the debt and the deficit, but they look more at the health care uh, law itself, the Affordable Care Act, as not being affordable uh, in any way, shape, or measure. Uh, and it, the debt and how it made the deficit worse really was a, a side issue. It didn't even come up. So there are a lot of things that did come up that they didn't like about it, but rarely did I remember them making it an issue of compounding our, 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 our debt. Right. Well, the economy actually, uh, as Hillary Clinton said, always does better under a Democrat than it does under a Republican. And the same is true for the Obama administration. I mean, if anything, his record is, is close to Ronald Reagan. Jimmy Carter had a better economy than Ronald Reagan. So we forget this, that Democrats actually do better with debt and with the economy than Republicans do. Well, I know what you're saying about the economy and the markets and all the rest, but no one should take sort of, well, our debt growth is less than your debt growth, or our spending in excess is, is better than your spending in excess. Uh, what I'm asking you is when I hear people telling me now that they're going to have to scale back, even Republicans, the size of tax cuts or maybe rethink spending initiatives, are both parties hamstrung here, and do they recognize that? Do you, th do you think that's the worry here, Kathy? Well, I mean, when, when a Trump, a president like Trump comes out and says we're going to have free health insurance for all, automically we think, oh my gosh, what is going to happen to our economy and to the well, debt he in this country? didn't say free health insurance for all. I believe he said his insurance. goal was health insurance for Health all. insurance for all. Yeah. Which doesn't that mean free health insurance? That's no, how it does I, not. I think no. many Americans no interpreted like that it way. It didn't mean with President Obama yeah. it was free for but everybody. But I think right? that's how we interpreted it. Okay, well, maybe you did, but I, I listened actually to his words. Judy, uh, what I want to know now is where are we going here? Because I talked to Steve Moore, sort of like a behind-the-scenes economic Bengali here. We don't have to rerun what he said. I can just tell you what he said, that we might have to do our tax cuts in waves here, corporate taxes first, then individual tax rates after that, which sounds to me like they are not really on the same page and that they could blow an opportunity for big tax cuts that some of them look forward to 
or they're reassessing it to these issues that have been mentioned here and saying uh, it's not doable. What do you think? Yeah, well, like many things, it remains to be seen in the coming weeks what exactly is going to happen. But look, both parties, Republicans and Democrats alike, tend to use the budget in particular as a weapon. Uh, they cry and moan about what the other side's doing, and then they, especially when it comes to debt, they're doing the exact same thing. Sabrina, where are we going with all this then? Because if we're already getting things scaled back or potentially rejiggered, uh, are Republicans in some disarray here? Well, I, you know, look, Neil, I think that this sort of puts into sharp relief once again just how large government has become and why it's so hard to get things done. One of the reasons we're having fights over, you know, the t tax reform right now is that everybody wants a piece of the pie. Everybody wants to make sure that their industry, their business right. gets helped. Um, and so when government is, you know, in the business of energy and in the business of health care and in the business of, you know, exploration, then, then it gets really hard um, to make sure that, that everybody sort of gets their fair share. And so the bottom line is we want to rein it all in. Yeah, we want here, to give and the, here we the, be. Individuals and, here, and businesses and here more we control. Be. All right, guys, yeah. thank you all very, very much.